with the uh, actual trailer bolt lock on. As you can see, there's no access to these bolts. I cannot spin these out this way. See that? This is, this is the cap to the head. So I'd have to take this lock off, take this plate off, which is gonna give me access, so then I could undo these bolts. Obviously, I'm probably never gonna do it, so this is probably gonna stay on there for a long time, right? I'm gonna stick the key in the bottom, and then it pulls out like that. This just slides off, and then this slides off. Now, as you can see, can you see the chains are in there? So the chains get tucked in there nicely, and here you go, and it just to release it, that's it. So to lock it up, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on, close that up, put my chains in there, and slide it on, and lock her up. Very simple, very easy. You know, and look, there's no way that this someone can hook this to their bumper and try to take off. There's just no way. All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. It's loud, we're in a shop. People are going crazy next door, fixing cars, all kinds of stuff, right? It's crazy, people are working. People are working, so we're working today. You guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about trailer security, right? We have a new trailer, PJ trailer. We love it, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite things, and I don't want it to get ripped off, right? Oh no, there's a lot of that going on too, especially nowadays. Yeah, you know? and here's the thing, dude. It's not only are they stealing your trailer, if you have it enclosed, they're stealing whatever's in that trailer. And sometimes you could have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, cars, whatever, oh, easily, yep. in that trailer, and it's mobile. You're gonna take it, right? Before we even go any further, though, there's no way you could completely prevent somebody from stealing your trailer. It no. is a mobile thing. I mean, they can come with a forklift, lift it up, throw it on a semi, take off, come in with a Chinook helicopter, pick it up, take it off, come in with the right equipment, welders, plasma cutters, cut saws, the tongue. Yeah, all cut the tongue. There's tons of ways they can do it. The only thing you can do is slow that process down or deter or deter prevent them, that yeah. from happening, right? Yeah, because if you come out and you see something like this system, you might pass it up. Exactly. Whereas, well, you see something that's not locked up, hey, that's a good easy and even, target. Right, and even if you don't pass this system up, you're gonna spend some time on it and then pat, be like, forget about it. There's tons of locks on the market. There's all kinds, there's that gorilla lock that goes on. And uh, I did see a video of a guy just get a sledge and smack it in the right spot and that gorilla lock came off in seconds. That's something you don't want, right? You want them to be able to, uh, you know, spend some time to try to get into that lock. Uh, that's when proven locks comes in. On our previous trailer, we had this proven lock. They have all kinds of different locks for different kinds of um, couplers, right? Uh, this one was for that bulldog coupler, I believe. Basically, how they operate, you guys, is this little piece right here goes up into the coupler. You lock it in place, and this sleeve slides over. And what that does is, uh, and then you put the puck lock on, and what that does is it prevents the uh, anybody from getting in there. I mean, they literally got a plasma cut. I mean, saw, I, you know, concrete saw, not concrete saw, but the K2 saw, whatever. I, I just, there's no way they're getting through this easily. And we've had that trailer for, since, for seven years, and that lock's always been on it. It's been parked in some shady areas, too, at the shop. It is, and you know, it's peace of mind, too, because like you said, there's times where we've left it. Where we are right now is extremely safe around here, but it's a peace of mind, because when we put it there, there's not a lot of people around. I mean, you know there's a lot of cops that always roam this area, but it's a peace of mind. You don't have to worry about coming tomorrow and be like, hey, where's the trailer? You right. Know, so. No, completely agreed. So, you guys, one thing I wanted to talk about was the our new coupler, which is a Demco coupler, which, uh, talking to Proven Locks, is a great coupler manufacturer. They make great couplers. However, there's two styles. There's a cast and there's a stamped, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. This right here is a stamped coupler. Okay. So, basically, it's metal, it's stamped in a machine, a press, whatever, and then, um, you know, that's it. As right? opposed to the other cast. one. The cast. The other one is cast. And I believe casting, obviously, is a mold. And they pour that material in there. I was thinking that the stamp was stronger. But he was telling me that the cast is actually a better one. So when you're looking at, this is a two and five I'm wondering because of like less stress on it. Because like, when you stamp it, you're more stretching it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, that's just I, a yeah, I don't know. It was crazy. But he said that Demco locks or Demco couplers are great couplers. Um, so basically, you guys, when you're on their website looking at these, if you have some kind of Demco, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you know the difference between the cast and the stamp. The biggest difference is the color, right? The, the cast is black. Okay. And it has a plastic thing on the top where you just pull up. And this has a more traditional type of lock on it, right? Also, uh, 
This looks just like the cast lock that we have on our trailer, but it has this groove here to allow for the latch, right? So that's the difference between those two, you guys. So basically, once you have this locked onto the head of your trailer, onto your coupler, you're basically going to slide it in here. And you can also put your chains in on the bottom, right? Because they could take your trailer just by hooking the chains and then, you know, crisscrossing them and getting far away where they can, you know, work on it and try to get this coupler lock off. But with this coupler lock, there is, um, you're gonna be able to put chains in there to lock it out, right? Mm -hmm. um, the lock, you guys, is your standard padlock that comes, that comes you with know, it. Um, you see these on work vans, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but Proven does make their own. I was talking to them too. They have a stainless steel one now. It's a little bit more of a premium, but it's a lot stronger lock. It's not gonna rust, um, you know, but they do give the option of just the standard coupler lock, puck lock, they call it. Um, what do you think, Eric? No, I mean, that's what I think. Like I already said, I mean, peace of mind is huge. You want something like you're saying. You have a ton of money invested in this. Just the trailer itself is worth a lot of money despite what's inside or on the trailer that you want to protect, you know? Right, right. And, you know, what do you think of this quality of this? And what I like about it, you guys, is USA made. I mean, everything is USA made. I don't know. I'm not sure about, like, the locks themselves. But as far as the couplers, it's all made in the USA. And You're supporting USA an company, American company. Which is good, which I love that. It's a huge aspect. Um, I like that aspect of it. To me, I love these things because when you just pick them up, you feel they're heavy. They're oh, not yeah. a chintz. It's not chintzy. And it's something that we can't really convey with you and show you through a camera. But it's one of those things you just got to pick up and try yourself. And then once you do that, you're like, oh, this, there's no way you're getting through this. Right. And on our trailer lock, we also have, uh, what about, you know, people can just take these bolts out and take your whole coupler off, put their coupler on. Well, they also have a locking mechanism for that, which we're showing you right now on our trailer. It's basically another puck lock system that basically protects that area. Again, you guys, yes. I mean, you guys are going to comment and say, oh, I can get through that, you know, da, da, da. I've been a, you know, locksmith for whatever. Yeah, you probably can. This is all about deterring, right? This is, it's exactly the same thing with your home defense system too. You know what I mean? If you don't have anything, you're not really deterring. Now you go in, you know, to the front door, you're like, okay, is it a glass door or is it a metal door? Deterring, same thing. Do I have ADT? You see an ADT sign? Guess what? They're gonna probably go somewhere else. It's the exact same thing with this. Like you said, yeah. anything can go around, even probably Fort Knox, you can still get through somehow, some way, but that's extremely tough, you know? Right, So yeah. But I mean, you're buying time and you're buying a lot of time, you know, more than any other lock. There, just, there just is no easy way to get into this lock. Mm -hmm. There just is no easy way, right? That's but it. what I do like about it is there's not an easy way to do it, but for the user, it, I love that puck lock. How you just put underneath, take it off. It's very easy to work with, very easy to like, Get, you know, even in the cold, when we've done it in the cold, I always hate coming out and, you know, everything's cold, but well, put you know the lock why? up there. Because the puck lock, the lock is upside down. So if it rains and freezes, it, uh, granted, I'm not saying it's not going to freeze on you depending on your situation. Yeah. You know, you might be, you know, a snowplow might go by, get uh, salt or salt, get stuff on it and yeah. freeze it. But Eric's right. You just can go from the bottom, unlock, puck lock comes off, and, uh, I don't know, you guys. I just can't say enough about Proven Locks. They're not paying us or anything for this ad. I actually bought this one right here, and uh, I was just such a fan of it. I'm like, you know, I reached out to them and said, hey, let's do something together, and they sent out this new stuff for our trailer, this example that we can show you guys. And, uh, I mean, just feeling that. I mean, you just, even the welds are really mm -hmm. nice, you know? Yeah. It's just... It's just some cool stuff. They also have, which I've been talking to them about, new hitches that are coming out. Really? Okay. Yeah, we're going to do a video on the hitch. And they what's also special have... special about them? Or what's, it's just a hitch or is there something unique feature? Um, Just the way they're built. Just okay. very strong and tough. I mean, we're talking with Proven Locks. I mean, they're all about, you know, they want to be that premier trailer accessory company right they don't want to just sell oh hey check this out you know they don't want to put out some cheap stuff they want to put out quality you're paying for that quality but it's the last trailer uh hits you're gonna buy mm -hmm. you know very cool um it's the last trailer lock you're gonna buy right unless you lend it out to somebody then you'll have to buy another one yeah well, at least a lock yeah. if, you, if i loan it out to somebody i know they're gonna lose the lock oh yeah you know, just the way it is yeah. we've talked about a hundred times we lend stuff out we never get it back and in fact last time i lent it out lent out lent it out lent out the trailer um dude it did come back broken remember on the old trailer how that it would go down and i had those gorilla things with the, the cables yeah comes back cables just snapped no mention of it, no nothing. The cable. I told you a couple days later. It man. wasn't you. No, I know. But so that's why I don't loan it's my trailer. It's a joke. Trailers. Sorry. Yeah, I don't yeah. loan my trailer out anymore. You know, no. I, I'm sick of loaning things out. You know. Speaking of that, can I borrow some money? 
No, I'm no <laughs> you cannot, Eric. You guys, Proven Locks, what do you guys think? I mean, yes, there's another company out there that I've seen that is kind of like Proven now, showing kind of the same thing, but they're nowhere they're nowhere near the quality of this and the the um, no and experience has a lot to do with it too yeah proven know? locks has been around for a long time you guys even yesterday i was just standing outside and one of our neighbors came down he's like stop he's like tell me about this lock you have on your trailer so i'm thinking to myself oh wow you think about borrowing the trailer he's like lock the turret or he's know? thinking about stealing it yeah no he's just like he's like i've just never seen such a system like that where you know i mean there's no way he's looking at it he's like man how do you even try to break into this Mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't. You need massive major equipment, you guys. And by the time you show up, transport that major equipment to get this unlocked, you know, hopefully you're going to be seen. Cops are going to be there. Something's going to happen. Yep. You know, you're definitely deterring it. I mean, literally, I think if we gave, you know, a criminal a sledgehammer and a crowbar and put them on this trailer, they'd be there for an hour at least. I don't even think they could get it open. Yeah, I'm trying I mean, to think but of... with leverage, you can get anything open and broken. Mm -hmm. You well, know. that's the thing. Like, once the lock's even in here, it's hard to even get any tool in there to get that leverage. And right. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, where do you go for it? You know? Do you go for the lock? Do you go for it? You know, I'm not seeing a weakness point on here, you know? Yeah. Granted, I'm sure everything has a weakness point. You know, the biggest weakness point would be actually on your trailer. So if it's an enclosed trailer, the lock probably on the back. Just cut that and then take the stuff out of there. Yeah. You know? I, I, honestly, Eric's right. I mean, dude, the weakness is the trailer itself. Yeah. People are going to cut the whole thing off. They're going to plasma it. You're not going to plasma through this. You're going to plasma this whole end off, the whole yeah. coupler, somehow get it out of there. So, all right, you guys. Got NASCAR next door. NASCAR, that's, I don't know. Oh my God, those guys. It does sound good, though. Guys, does that not sound good? It's a Camaro. 1960s. No, I thought that's the truck. No, that's not in there, just the Camaro. Wow, so the truck and the Camaro both sound good? Yeah. Come on, right, that, that sounds good. <laughs> Peace out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to show more Proven Lock stuff. If you guys have a Proven Lock story, mention it below. We want to hear about it. Just a very good uh, lock system. In my mind, it is the best on the market. You cannot get any better than this. I mean, governments use this. I mean, fleets use this. This is some heavy-duty locking mechanism. You know, oh, one thing we didn't talk about is since you're dealing with proven locks, you can key them all the same. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's nice. So let's say I have three trailers, I can get all three, so I'm only running around with one key. You know, I all, like that. all of them can be keyed the same. And I think he told me that you could key them yourself the same. They sell a kit or something like that. They, okay. something. It's, it's relatively easy to get it keyed the same. Um, all right, that's but, pretty cool. Yeah, and this, don't forget about the stain. If you really want to go up in quality, you can go to the uh, stainless steel top. Stainless steel puck locks, which is the echelon of locks, right? Um, Stainless steel is good. Peace, Great. you guys. Check it out, provenlocks.com. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.